hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel oh my god it's been so long but as you can see from the title i'm gonna show you how to do this very easy super natural looking juicy bouncy delicious flip over method using only clippings so if you would like to know how i achieve this look please keep watching so like I said, these clip-ins are from Curls Queen. I have used Curls Queen extensions before and I absolutely love them. I still use them till this day. This is how the box comes. You get a really nice pink box and this pouch with all your necessities in it. This pouch comes with this handy brush. In my opinion, this is the best brush for curly hair, curly hair extensions. It just detangles so, so well. Then you of course have your extra clips just in case something happens or you need to secure some extra clips or whatever. And last but not least, you get this silk bonnet. This is adjustable, so that always is handy whether you have long hair, short hair, it works either way. And of course, most importantly, you have the hair. It comes in this very nice silk pouch. I actually like to keep my extensions in these uh, when I'm not using them. It's just a handy storage little bag. And this is the hair straight out of the pack. Look how good these curls look. These match my natural hair perfectly. These are the 18 inch water kinky curly hair texture and these match to a T. Look at that curl. These are the natural weft and they're double wefted, which is why they're so full from like root to tip. These wefts are so full, which is why I'm able to achieve a full head. One pack of these extensions are more than enough to achieve a full head of hair. With this, you get two five clip extensions, two four clip extensions, two three clip extensions, and four pieces of two clip extensions. And these two clip extensions always come in handy for me, especially when I'm doing a half up, half down. There's so many versatile hairstyles you can do with clip-ins like this. I like to wash and prep my hair before i put it on my head i know it's different for everybody but i'm just gonna simply wash and condition these before i'm gonna style them and i'm doing that by running the whole bundle underwater and then i'm gonna take each individual piece or like by two shampoo condition and comb them all the way out now detangling them is the easiest thing at this point because they're straight out of a pack they're very easy to detangle as you can see in a few clips, I'm just simply running the brush through without any issues. Here I am just applying the shampoo. I'm applying just a little bit, then I'm just gonna rub it in with my hands and rinse it back out with water. And of course, conditioner, this is gonna make the hair even softer than it already was. Just makes it really easy for me to apply my next step once the hair is on my head. Makes it easy to absorb leave-in conditioner, mousses, and gels. And look how easy that brush is running through and look how beautiful those curls spring back up. It's always a good sign when curly hair looks this good once you're detangling and washing it. And I'm just going to apply the same steps on each and every weft until all the hair is washed and I'm going to set it aside. So I've gone ahead and put my hair in two braids and pinned that all to my head. The only thing that we need out for this is the front part of our hair. And as you can see, all the rest is very secured and pinned to my head so the clip-ins can attach surely onto this. 
So I'm going to start with a five clip weft as I'm showing you right here. And I'm going to secure this to my head in more like a half circle. So it really covers the like the nape of my entire neck. So I'm just securing that, making sure I really like tug it into my hair, making sure that this is not going anywhere. And I'm really trying to cover that entire lower part of my head. Right after this, I'm going in with another five clip weft. I'm just trying to make sure that I have that entire area covered. Please look how full this is already looking for only two wefts. And now we're on to our four clip wefts. I'm gonna start at the top of my ear and go back as far as we can. And with the other one, we're gonna make sure this overlaps each other. And with the other four clip weft, I'm gonna do the exact same thing in the other side. So basically the ends of this are gonna overlap in the end because they don't cover like that full straight line. But that's okay, we're just gonna make sure that they at least overlap as you can see right here. This method for me just works every time because it now looks like one straight clip. So we're saving the last two four clips that we have for the very end. So I'm gonna go in with all my two clips now and just basically making sure I am filling in that entire area by overlapping each one over each other. Now do you see how the end of that, it looks like it's all one long weft? That is how you want to do it. Now this is our second to last clip. This is the four clip weft, but we're going to make sure that we're going to go close to that part, but not too close because that is what our last weft is for. Okay, on to our final weft. We want to make sure we attach this as close to our parting as possible to make sure the blend is seamless. And I cannot get over how full this hair looks with just wefts in my hair. This is none of my own hair involved. <laughs> and now that we've done that and everything is looking good, it's time to take the leave out out of its twist and see what we're working with. And because I have a little bit of a heat damage, I like to go in with my very small wand and just curl most parts up. I do big curls and then I separate them later with my hands. This is what we're looking like straight after curling. I'm already so in love with this, but I'm still gonna play with it, put a little bit of leave-in in, do my edges and everything. And usually with curly extensions, I'm always grabbing a scissor to like layer them. But because these are 18 inch, I actually didn't have to layer them at all. Yeah, I just love how this turned out. I'll put all the info in the description box, of course. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.